welcome to the national championship game where the number two Oklahoma Sooners come in at 11 and one, but the number one Oregon Ducks come in at 13 and 0 right off their Pac-12 Conference Championship game. This game is set to be one heck of a game. We are in the Rose Bowl for the national championship, and let's go ahead and get this game underway. Michael Honeycutt comes out to get this game started, and his last game is a Sooner. And we are underway here in the national championship game. Going to be received by Mathis, and he will knee it to bring out the Oregon offense and Marcus Mariota. We have had trouble defending scrambling quarterbacks in the past, so let's see if we can do it today. And now Mariota takes it and throws and finds Addison for a 13-yard gain. That play was very fast compared to anything else we've seen this year. Second and 10, Mariota takes the snap. He's going to try to run, and he is tripped up and brought down third and 15. I don't know who they gave credit for that sack. They gave it to Geno Grisham because he was the one who tripped him up. Now third and 15, Mariota comes out and throws to the left side, caught by low. He is wrapped up by L.J. Moore and brought down only a nine-yard gain, and they would punt the ball to Oklahoma. Now Trevor Knight comes out to start the national championship for the Sooner offense. Hands off to Keith Ford, and Ford has a gain of six on the play to start today, and that looked very good so far. Now third and four, Trevor Knight trying to avoid a three and out. He drops back, he's under pressure, throws, caught by Green Beckham. Green Beckham gets away from a couple ducks, and he is gone. Touchdown OU, that was fast. 75 yards to the house for Doriel Green Beckham, who just was able to beat the defender after he dove to try to tip it down. And now Honeycutt comes out to kick it away again, and the kick is away, and it's going to be received by Mathis. This time he may run it out, and he does. Out across the 10, down the sideline, across the 40, and he is finally going to be brought down at about the 45-yard line, a 48-yard return. That, that's not good for this Sooner team right now. So now first and 10, Mariota comes out to try to do something with the offense, and it's a play action. He throws and overthrows his target. Two for four, 22 yards so far for Mariota to start today. Now on third and 10, Mariota in shotgun takes the snap. He drops back. He's sitting in the pocket, throws to Tyner, who was brought down only a gain of two, and that would bring up fourth down, and they'd have to punt the ball back to OU. Now on first and 10, Trevor Knight takes the snap. Knight's going to roll out to his right side as there's no one there. And he makes a man miss, but he fumbles the ball after he gets hit. Keith Ford recovers, so the Sooners will keep the ball. And it's a 20-yard gain for the Sooners on that play. Now first and 10, Trevor Knight in pistol. Hand off to Keith Ford up the middle. Ford is brought down after another gain of 6 yards. So now he has 2 carries for 12 yards today. Third and 6, Trevor Knight drops back. He's looking downfield. He throws, and it's going to be caught by Green Beckham, who already has 2 catches today for 97 yards and a touchdown, averaging 50 yards a catch up to this point. Now first and 10, Trevor Knight and Pistol hands off to Alex Ross. Ross up the middle, and he's got a 10-yard gain almost. Another Sooner first down, bring up second and inches for them. So now in Pistol once again, Trevor Knight. It's a read option. He's going to give it to Ford, and Keith Ford has the first down on a 5-yard gain. First and 10 now for the Sooners. Knight comes out in shotgun on first down. He takes the snap. Knight rolls out to his right side. Knight throws to the end zone, and it's caught by Doriel Green Beckham, who already has his second touchdown today on only three catches. All three of Knight's completed passes have all gone to Green Beckham. So now the Ducks come out on first and ten. Handoff to Thomas Tyner, who's up the middle, breaking tackles. Ran over one sooner, a 15-yard gain. And that may be a problem today, stopping the run. We have not faced an elite running back really all season. Mariota comes out, throws to Addison, and he breaks a tackle, breaks another tackle. How about a third tackle before finally being brought down by Frank Shannon? A 32-yard gain for Braylon Addison. Second and 12. He sends a man in motion. It's going to be a read option. Mariota's going to keep it himself. He shoves off the tackle before being brought down from behind by Charles Tapper to bring up third and one for the Ducks. So now he takes the snap from Pistol and he throws to the outside, caught by Brown, absolutely leveled, but he does get the first down. So now on first and 10, Mariota in shotgun. He's gonna keep it himself again, and he is brought down, I believe that was Julian Wilson, a nine yard gain. 
Four carries, 13 yards so far for Mariota. Second and one, he's going to keep it himself, and he is brought down short of the goal line, brought down about the one or two yard line to bring up first and goal. Now on third and goal after a couple of good stops, handoff. No, he's going to keep it himself, but he's met by Frank Shannon, brought down at the one yard line to bring up fourth and goal, and the Ducks would come out and go for this to start the second quarter, and he is going to be stuffed at the line. No points for Oregon as OU will now have the ball back inside their own one yard line now on second and seven they're going to give it to ford and keith ford gets a three yard gain to bring up third and four for the oklahoma sooners now on third and four knight sends ford in motion he takes the snap trevor knight throws caught by green beckham who has another huge gain he is completely owning this oregon defense right now third and eight knight goes deep downfield and it's going to be tipped away and that will bring up fourth down. So after the impressive Green Beckham play, now the Sooners will punt the ball back to Oregon. And we'll see if Oregon can get anything going on this drive as he hands off to Tyner. And Tyner breaks a couple tackles before being brought down after a 17-yard gain. He already has six carries for 36 yards against the Sooner team. First and five after an encroachment penalty handoff to Tyner. He breaks a tackle before being brought down. A nine-yard gain and another first down for the Ducks. First and 10, Mariota and shotgun. It's going to be a read option. He's going to keep it himself. Quentin Hayes. Quentin Hayes knocks the ball loose, and Farrell Brown picks it up. A 17-yard gain. Now first and 10, Mariota is going to keep it himself once again. This time, he cuts all over the field, and he's got a touchdown. And that is Oregon's first points today off of a big Marcus Mariota run. And now we'll see how Oklahoma responds. Second and 10, Trevor Knight comes out. Knight breaks a tackle, then rolls out to his right side. Trevor Knight tries to throw, but he is then brought down for a loss of six to bring up third and 16 for the Sooners. Knight in shotgun on third and 16, takes the snap. Trevor Knight goes deep downfield, and it is picked off by Ekpre Olamu. I'm going to be honest, I have no idea how to say that guy's name, but that was a tremendous interception. And now Oregon has a chance to tie the game with under four minutes to go in the half. Marcus Mariota up the middle. He's got a good hole before being brought down by Zach Sanchez. A 22-yard gain for Marcus Mariota. And that didn't look good for the Sooner team at all. First and 10, the Ducks now inside the 20-yard line. Mariota keeps it on another read option, and he will walk into the end zone untouched that time. A 15-yard touchdown, and that will tie this ball game. The Sooners have to find an answer to that read option. Now on first and 10, Trevor Knight takes the snap. Knight drops back looking deep, but he can't find anyone, so he throws finally to Blake Bell, who was deep downfield, and I believe that is going to be a 30-yard gain for Blake Bell. Second and 10, Trevor Knight takes the snap. He's looking to go deep with it, and it is jumped once again by Ekpre Olamu. He gets absolutely flipped by Alex Ross, but now Oregon will have the ball and a chance to take the lead. So on first and 10, Marcus Mariota is going to keep it himself in another read option. The Sooners still don't have an answer for it as he is deep into Sooner territory now. An 18-yard gain, and he's up to 100 rushing yards. Second and four, Marcus Mariota in shotgun takes the snap, hands off to Thomas Tyner, and Tyner up the middle. They still don't have an answer for that run game, and that's going to kill them if they don't get an answer soon. So now second and eight, Marcus Mariota in shotgun is going to hand off to Tyner again who drags Geno Grisham for six yards to bring up third and two for the Ducks. So now on third and two, Marietta and shotgun takes the snap, throws, and that guy is going to be brought down. It was Stanford, brought down for a zero-yard gain, and that would bring out the field goal unit. That was a pretty good stop by the Sooner team. And now on fourth and two, the kick is up, and good. Oregon has their first lead of the day with under two minutes to go in the half. So now Trevor Knight and the Sooners come back out on second and ten play action. Knight is brought down fast. Loss of six on the sack as they blitz Trevor Knight on the play. So now third and 16, Trevor Knight takes the snap. Knight goes deep downfield and it is going to be tipped away fourth and 16. And they would have to punt the ball back to Oregon. Oregon now with the chance to make it a double digit lead as it's going to be another read option, but this time he didn't get a huge gain, but he did get a first down, a gain of eight for Marcus Mariota. 
up to 115 yards now. Second and two, Mariota and Shotgun takes the snap. He throws at the last second, but it's picked off by Zach Sanchez. And Sanchez may have given the Sooners a chance to tie this ball game up before halftime. Trevor Knight on second and ten. Play action. Knight sitting in the pocket. He throws and it is going to be caught by Deron Neal who gets out of bounds to stop the clock. A 12-yard gain and that is Deron Neal's first catch of the day. So now another play action. Knight throwing over the middle and that's caught by Deron Neal once again getting his second catch of the day very fast and Oklahoma would have to burn a timeout. So now on first and ten, Trevor Knight takes the snap and throws caught by Shepard who was absolutely leveled but that gets them into field goal range as they would then run hurry up real fast to get up to the line and with under 30 seconds to go Knight is sacked and that would put them out of field goal range and they had to use their last timeout. Seven seconds to go they have to get to the sideline or get into the end zone and Trevor Knight throws caught by Shepard and he is out of bounds or I thought he was out of bounds they actually ruled him inbounds so that would bring up halftime and the score right now is Oregon 17 Oklahoma 14. Now the Sooners come out to start this half on first and ten. Trevor Knight handoff to Keith Ford and Keith Ford gets a nine yard gain to start this one. Second and one. Handoff to Keith Ford again. Ford up the middle or he actually cuts it to the outside before getting brought down after a four yard gain but he does have a Sooner first down. And now on first and ten in shotgun. Trevor Knight play action Alex Ross. He's under pressure. He gets a good block. He throws deep and it is dropped off the pit. But it's tipped into the arms of Deron Neal. And that is a touchdown for OU. 70 yards off of a tip pass that really should have been intercepted. And Trevor Knight is now over 300 passing yards. So now Oregon's got to try to respond to that. And on first and 10, Mariota is brought down in the backfield. That's one way to answer their read option that ran all over the Sooner defense last half. So on second and 13, Marcus Mariota takes the snap. Throws caught by Kelly. He's no one's near him, and he's over the middle, and he's got one man to beat, and that man is Cortez Johnson, but he couldn't bring him down. Touchdown, Oregon. I guess that's how they're going to answer a 70-yard bomb to Deron Neal. Just a quick slant route that ends up going for a 78-yard touchdown, and that would apparently break the record for longest pass, even though I know there's been passes longer than that. First and 10, Trevor Knight takes the snap. Knight goes deep, and it is caught by Sterling Shepard, a 43-yard gain, and that's how they come out and answer their huge touchdown pass. Now first and 10, Trevor Knight takes the snap from shotgun. Knight rolls out to the right side. Trevor Knight's going to run. He's got the first down before getting brought down after a 15-yard gain. Second and 10, Trevor Knight takes the snap from shotgun. Knight sits in the pocket, rolls out to his right side, and no one's going to catch him. Touchdown, Oklahoma. No one was on that side of the field. So Trevor Knight took advantage to just walk into the end zone and reclaim the lead for OU. So now Oregon's got to try to answer the Oklahoma touchdown. Marcus Mariota keeps it, and there comes the read option once again. They stopped it one time this half, but that time it goes for a 29-yard gain. 16 carries, 141 yards for Marcus Mariota. Now on first and 10, he pitches back to Tyner. And Tyner cannot be brought down by Eric Stryker. Quentin Hayes can barely manage to slow him down before he's brought down by Julian Wilson. First and 10. The Ducks come out in shotgun. And it's going to be another read option. Is anyone going to catch Mariota here? Yes, they bring him down inside the five-yard line. A 17-yard gain by Marcus Mariota. And that will bring up first and goal for the Ducks. Now Mariota takes a snap and throws to the end zone. Touchdown to Keenan Lowe. And that would reclaim the lead for Oregon. Now up by three once again. Now we will see how the Sooners come out and respond to that one. On second and six, Trevor Knight comes out in the pistol. He takes the snap and throws a screen to Keith Ford. And Ford will juke out a play, run into his own blocker momentarily. But he does have the first down for Ford's first catch of the day. So now second and nine. In shotgun, Trevor Knight takes the snap, rolls out to the right side. Knight is going to throw and find Deron Neal, who can not juke out the defender, gets absolutely leveled. But now Trevor Knight is over 373 passing yards today. Trevor Knight comes out, throws, and finds Jordan Smallwood for a 14-yard gain. And that is Smallwood's first catch today. So now on first and ten, Trevor Knight in shotgun, trying to reclaim the lead. Knight's going to run, and he slides. 
he would have the first down for the Sooners, so this drive will get another new set of downs. On first and 10, they pitch it out to Keith Ford. Ford is down inside the five before absolutely getting leveled, but that will bring up third and two a couple plays later. Hand off to Alex Ross, and Alex Ross fights his way into the end zone. Touchdown OU, and that makes it 35-31 to 31 with under three minutes to go in the third quarter. And now Marcus Mariota comes out, and Mariota throws to find Tyner, who is then immediately brought down by Torrey Wilson to bring up fourth and 14. They'd have to punt the ball back to OU. This would be the first drive this half that no one scored. And the punt is away, and it's going to be Sterling Shepard back to return this at about his own 30. Shepard cuts back to the right side and does a hesitation move, makes a few people miss out across the 50, deep into Oregon territory, finally brought out of bounds at about the 35-yard line. It was a 34-yard return. So now second and 14, Trevor Knight comes out trying to extend the lead. Knight, seeing the pocket, throws deep, and it is somehow caught by Deron Neal. He just chucked that one up for a Hail Mary. First and goal, and it's going to be a handoff to Keith Ford, and Ford is brought down inside the one-yard line once again. 12 carries, 53 yards for Keith Ford. And now Trevor Knight on a play action will roll out to his right side, dump it off, and it's caught by Aaron Ripkowski for the Sooner touchdown. And it is now 42-31. to Nearing the end of the third quarter, the Ducks are trying to get something before the fourth. Mariota is going to be sacked on the play, a loss of nine, and that is not really the way you want to close out a quarter. So now we start the fourth quarter. The Ducks are down by 11. Mariota comes out, throws to Thomas Tyner, who shoves off a tackler, but then is brought down after an eight-yard gain to bring up third and ten. So now Mariota in shotgun takes the snap. He sits in the pocket, throws to Tyner on a perfect screen pass, and Tyner is fast. No one's going to catch him. Touchdown, Oregon, and that will put Oregon right back in this game. 37 to 42. Marcus Mariota is so far having a tremendous day on the ground and through the air as he just broke the record for most passing touchdowns in a season by an Oregon quarterback. So now they come out to go for two to try to make it a three-point game, and Mariota is going to be hit in the backfield. It will remain a five-point game, and that is huge for the Sooners. So now Trevor Knight comes out trying to extend on the lead. Knight takes the snap. Trevor Knight's going to run as he doesn't think anyone's open. He's got a huge gain before he just slides down. First and 10 once again for the Sooners. Now on second and seven, it's going to be a read option. Knight's going to keep it himself. And Trevor Knight has another Oklahoma first down. And he is just moving the ball at will this drive. 12 carries, 74 yards. Now third and 13. Trevor Knight takes the snap from shotgun. Knight throws, and it's caught by Sterling Shepard before he is tripped up, but he does get the Sooner first down. Now on second and three, Trevor Knight hands off to Samaje Pirine, who has not carried the ball at all this season, just got a nine-yard gain in the biggest game of the season. So now first and ten, Trevor Knight comes out. Under four minutes to go, Knight rolls out to his right side. Trevor Knight throws, caught by Green Beckham, who's into the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma. And Green Beckham has three receiving touchdowns today. He has had a tremendous season, and on top of that, a tremendous game today. So now first and 10, 49 to 37. Mariota is going to run it. He makes a few people miss. He breaks a tackle before getting brought down after a nine-yard gain. They need to score quick and then somehow get the ball back. So on second and one, Marcus Mariota takes the snap, throws, caught by Tyner who's down the sideline. He is, once again, very fast. Cortez Johnson is able to catch up to him and trip him up, though. 28-yard gain. Second and six, Mariota takes the snap. Hand off to Tyner, and Tyner has another duck first down. A seven-yard carry, and that was Frank Shannon on the tackle. So now first and ten, two and a half minutes to go. Mariota throws, caught by Munt, and he walks into the end zone to put Oregon back into this ball game. Mariota 16 for 23, 281 yards and four touchdowns. So now on the kickoff, Oregon's gonna need to pin them deep and then get the ball back. Alex Ross is back to return, but he's gonna bring it out of the end zone. Alex Ross gets a couple really good blocks from Aaron Ripkowski. He's across the 40 into Oregon territory before finally being brought out the 45 yard line, a 61 yard return. And as you can see, this game has been 
very much a lot of offense today. So now on second and eight, Trevor Knight comes out. Knight drops back, sitting in the pocket. He's going to run, and Trevor Knight dives forward, and he has the first down, forcing Oregon to burn a timeout with two minutes to go. Now on first and ten, Trevor Knight takes a snap, and Knight sitting in the pocket, and he's going to be tripped up and go down a loss of eight, and that knocks them pretty much out of field goal range. So now on second and 18, Trevor Knight, it's going to be a read option. Knight gets all of those yards back and a little bit more with a 10-yard gain to bring up third and eight. So now on third and eight with about a minute to go, hand off to Alex Ross who cannot, or no, he breaks the tackle, but he still does not get the first down. Gain of five to bring up fourth and three now for the Sooners. If they make this, they go up by eight, and Oregon can only force overtime. So on fourth and three, under a minute to go, Michael Honeycutt comes out. And the kick is away, and it is good. 52 to 44, and Oklahoma has a huge advantage right now. All Oregon can do is try to force overtime. With 30 seconds to go, Marcus Mariota takes the snap. Mariota goes deep downfield, and it is caught. Zach Sanchez got burned. Touchdown, Oregon. On the first play of the drive, a 75-yard touchdown pass. That is ridiculous. But now they must get the two-point conversion. Under 30 seconds to go. Marcus Mariota takes the snap, throws to the end zone. It's tipped away by LJ Moore, and the Oklahoma Sooners are going to be national champions. All Trevor Knight has to do is take this knee, and that's the ball game. After an insane season where they did not even win the Big 12, they win the national championship. The play of the game is the huge 70-yard bomb to Deron Neal. And this game was just crazy from beginning to end. From this huge bomb that got tipped, Green Beckham's first touchdown, and then... Probably, I would say the craziest play of the day was that huge touchdown pass by Oregon to put them right back in it and then fail the two-point conversion. But still, that was a great pass, and Sanchez got beat deep. Luckily, LJ Moore came up big for the two-point conversion play. But the Sooners cap off a ridiculous season with a very crazy win. Trevor Knight played out of his mind, over 400 passing yards. So I think it's pretty safe to say Knight plays incredibly well in bowl games. Obviously, we'll have to test that next year if we can get it. The off-season video will be coming very shortly. It's like less than 10 minutes. So I don't know when I'm going to put that out. But hopefully you enjoyed this season. And if you're new around here, subscribe. And the new season will start hopefully fairly quick. Obviously, after the off-season video. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. And you come back for the next one.